Toronto joining us live here at Ronnie Parade after a 1-1 draw against Newport. Manager Nathan Jones, your thoughts on uh, picking up a point against uh, Newport? Well, that's not a bad point, but after you, you know, shoot yourself in the foot again after after two minutes, uh, you're chasing the game again, and you know we, we just can't seem to keep a clean sheet at the minute in terms of just giving ourselves an opportunity. We seem to concede it first, which we haven't done all season. And, uh, and then we, we, we're chasing the game again. Look, I thought we were excellent first half. I really do, apart from the five, first five minutes, I thought we were excellent. I thought uh, we obviously hit the bar, we had a number of chances, we played some, some really good stuff on a, a really difficult condition, really difficult day for conditions. It's blowing a gale, the pitch is dry and bobbly, and so it's not conducive really for, for anything free flowing. But I thought we were brave and we got it down. But you know, that would have been a great win coming away 1 0 away from home because it's a difficult place to come to and especially with the conditions because it's blowing a gale out there um, but we shot ourselves in the foot after two minutes and then you know you got up there a battle again I mean it, almost a carbon copy of Tuesday night wasn't yeah. it Marrick yeah. makes the save and the players there to put on the rebound well right hand side got beaten too easily twice now that happened first got him in the other day happened today and then uh, Marrick makes a save and it comes you know, comes back out to, to someone but that's you've got to defend well we know uh, we set up to defend well, we talked to them about it, we showed them that. I had the defence in on Thursday and, and speaking to them about the importance of keeping clean sheets and defending well and doing things. We spoke about it right before you come out and then you happen. So there's not much you can, you know, not much you can do. But uh, I, I, thought, I thought, you know, structurally we were very good first half and scored a, a good goal. We had so many corners, so many set plays, uh, opportunities where, you know, Collins has hit the, hit, hit the bar. Um, but. 1-0, probably fair result in, in, in the end, because second half, I, I don't think, you know, and ironically, we, we had to win second half, we, I don't think we tested the keeper once. No, I mean, I was just going to say, second half, I mean, hardly uh, safe for either keeper to make, was there? No, it wasn't, and uh, and the only thing, we were better first half against the win than we were uh, with it second half, and, and, and that's the thing, it wasn't until later on, until Larry Corner got a shot, and then uh, Macca got down the, uh, down, sort of down the line, did we? Do we look like creating anything? And that's that's a disappointing thing. You know, threw people off here today. It was a real difficult day condition-wise. You know, we're blowing a gale. It's dry. It was bobbly. So look, we had to grind it out and battle. We picked the side to try and handle this. The, you know, still play and handle it because we haven't got all six footers that just grind stuff out. We don't. We don't. We haven't recruited that way. So it was. You know, it was a difficult day. You're talking about picking a side, you made two changes from the draw against Coventry. Elliot Lee uh, uh, coming in and um, Luke Gambin making a rare start as well. Yeah, look, he's been bright in recent weeks, uh, um, Luke, so we felt he deserved a, a different opportunity. And then, you know, we went in recent weeks, we haven't kept clean sheets, so we thought, well, we might need two to win it. So we played a really positive side. It was as positive side as I possibly could have gone with, the amount of attacking players I had in my team. Um, and we did score. It's just. Give yourself a mountain to climb by conceding in the first first two minutes, and and that's a disappointing thing from today because this would be a great one 0 win. You know, coming here, it's a difficult place to come, really, really is. Um, but on the whole, the fair result. A word on Dan Potts, uh, his seventh goal of the season after only scoring his first goal for Luton at the, the end of last season. Well, to be fair to him, he's a brave one, and he, he's had a you know, wonderful time in, 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 in terms of front of goal. But he's brave. He puts his head on it. He puts it in where it hurts. And, and he's getting his just rewards and, and, and things. And uh, as I said, it, we felt it'd be a tight game today because we know what it's like here. I mean, the pitch is better than I thought it would be. It's not great, but it's better than I thought it would be. But with the wind, it made it very, very difficult to, to really control, get control possession and, and get it down and, and so on. So I think, you know, he was always going to take something like that to, 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 to get us a goal and, uh, and so on. But look, it's another point. And, uh, and as I said, we... we Coming through a tough time because it's it's been a tough game, you know, with Accrington and away at Coventry and away at you know, teams that are, are all playoff teams. So uh, we've come through that now, and uh, it's you know, we have to start you now picking up wins. I mean, it is important to start picking up wins. The last six, just one win, four draws, and a defeat, which yeah. isn't really playoff or even promotion form, is it? It needs to turn around at the back end now for the running. No, it, it does. But look, we we realised a lot of teams have played. You know, we've played a lot of top teams there. It, 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 Teams about I think we played Exeter, we played Crawley, we've we were in fine form. Um, we played Wickham, we played Accrington, could been away to Coventry and Newport, and there isn't two more difficult places to go to, not just because of the team, but because of the states of the pitch and, and, and so on. So we know that that's not conducive. But we've got eight games to go now, four to home, four away, 
and uh, we've, we've got to make sure now that we pick up the wins that we need to, to get us. Um, character again for coming from behind, you must be pleased with the way that the side are responding, albeit you'd rather they went in front to begin with rather than conceding first. Well, we should have good character conviction. We're making a habit of doing it, so we're having to come from behind, you know. I mean, Accrington was against the run of play. It really was, and we can't fathom for that at all, at all times. But the last two away games, we've given ourselves a mountain to climb in terms of conceding first, and, and teams are not having to earn that, you know. We've given it to them by bad, bad defending, and, uh, and, and that's the thing. That's the thing I'm disappointed with, because apart from that, it was a real good, they put their head on it, they grafted it, they worked hard, but it's, it's just that, that thing where we have to chase again, you know, and that's a disappointing thing. And after months out injured, you were finally able to give another appearance to Alan McCormack coming off the bench for the last few minutes there. Yeah, and he said it's important he hasn't played any minutes yet, really, that's the first game minutes he's played, and, uh, and look, he, he did you know, a short period of time, saw the game out, so it was important we didn't lose the game because we want, you know, we, we still need those points, all these add up, but we have to start picking up the three points, and, and because it's, it's, that's important to us, because as I said, we, we don't want to fall behind or we don't want anyone catching us and, and, and so on. Our buffer is kind of almost gone, if you like. Uh, it's, it's still there, with, especially with the goal difference, but we have to start winning games now and putting pressure on other people, not us just receiving the pressure, you know? And a week now to recuperate and get ready for the, the game on Sky next Saturday night. Yeah, and look, it's a good game. And I said we've got, got eight games to go now, and they're eight real good games, you know, where, where everything's in our hands and that's what we want it. So. It's, it's about dusting them down, about making sure that we, we tweak certain things so we're, you know, we're not conceding that, 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 that early goal and, and things like that. And then, uh, and then they're going back to, to what we're good at, you know, and, uh, and that's, that's what we've got to do. Because it's not disastrous form, it's, it's, it's draws and, and things, so we're not getting beaten and we're not struggling and this and the other. And, and things will turn around, things will turn around for us. we just got to get back to basics a little bit. Lovely, thanks, mate. Thank you. A word on Marek Steck. Was that um, the header? Uh, was, he, was it tipped onto the post in the first half? Did get a, I'll have to look again, now? but it was, look, he was really tight, and, and I said it, it was back stick, it was a little, little header, but I don't know what exactly what happened, so right. we'll, uh, we'll have to have a look at that. If he did, it was a fantastic save, wasn't it? A, a crucial part of the game when, when it could have been, could have been two. Yeah, look, and we, well, it was probably that was when we were first five minutes, we were probably under the most most pressure. We didn't start well, which is ironic, really. Um, uh, and things that we know Newport come here and he's not real fluency in the game, they take a lot of long throws, so that takes time, uh, you, you know, again. So we knew it was going to be a difficult game, we'd have to create their own thing, and we just got us up to, off to a real, real bad start. That's the disappointment. Do you think um, Danny Hilton looks slightly off it today a little bit? Yeah, look, you're, no, no, look, that wasn't one of his most productive ones and uh, and, and so on, and he, he did, and, but it's difficult to take him off because of who he is, but he didn't look as sharp as he was. First off, he was a lot better, second off, he, he wilted a little bit, but he's, he's still coming back, he's been out for eight games, it's his third game back, so look, he might take a little bit of time.